gorditas and chalupas all wrong in the States. So there are 365 churches here in Puebla. There's one. You don't like Ferris wheels, so why are we doing this? Cheers, <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> If you're new here, we're Howard and Caitlin Newstate. For the past two years, we've been traveling the globe and living as nomads in our Winnebago Navion. Recently, we ventured south of the border and have been in Mexico for the past three months. Each week, we take you on our adventures to experience the food, <laughs> culture, and people right along with us. In last week's episode, we made the treacherous drive down into the breathtaking canyons of Grutas Tolotongo to camp beside a teal river <laughs> and swim in magical grottos and pools. And today, we head to a colonial city known for its architecture, churches, and art. Welcome to the city of Puebla. Kind of sad to see this go. This is like one of the prettiest places I think we've ever been. And now it's time to go to Puebla. So long, Grutas de Tolotongo. All right, time to hit the road. We're all yeah. packed up. Let's go. Slides in. So we came back up the mountain. I was the spotter. That was great. Car. I'm really glad that we have a tow car because having Caitlin go up in advance and then make sure that the coast was clear was clutch. Some of those were absolute hairpin turns. Oh yeah, you can't fit two vehicles around those. No. And the little cars, the little vehicles just fly. So the engine got a little hot because it was a lot of climbing. Uh, but we pulled over to hook up the car and it gave it some time to cool down. And it's all good now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're back We're back to just over 175 degrees, so we're in good shape. Now we're making our way to Puebla. Puebla! So in Hidalgo State, there is a pastry dish that's kind of like an empanada, but it's their version of it. They look like puff pastries and they're stuffed with all kinds of delicious stuff. So I got a pineapple one, a um, mole, chicken mole one, chicken and potato one. And we kept seeing signs for it. It's pastes. Yep. P-A-S-T-E-S, -E and we didn't know what it was, so thanks to Google, we learned and we found a place along our route, so they smell really good. The place is really cute, too. It's just a little tiny thing. They look like little, like, pizzeria shops, because they have their little ovens. This is what I call a working lunch. <laughs> okay, so here's one. This, says, this definitely says Poyo on it. Oh, this is the potato and, and chicken one. Mmm. Here, my love. What? Oh, try one? Yeah. Oh. Flaky like a croissant. Is it good? Mm hmm. This is um, almost like a spicy chicken. Mmm. Have a bite? Mmm. Also, these are only 16 pesos a piece, which means that's 80 cents each. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Caitlin <clears throat> looks like the Joker. <laughs> when you're eating pastes, you just, things get out of control and you become a murderous villain. <laughs> this is how. You got your scars? <laughs> no. That's the last of it. <laughs> this is how you know that I really like something. Because I just go all in and it ends up all over my face. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so this is the pineapple one. <laughs> it is so good. It's sweet, um, 
just like a little, a nice little treat. The filling is still warm. Here, before I eat it all. We're finally gonna have chop chapulinas, right? Chapulinas. chapulinas. Which is grasshoppers. Oh yeah. Grasshoppers on toast. <laughs> toast. <laughs> With a salsa, not a salty chop. Salsa. <laughs> Spicy. Hey, Caitlin. What are we doing? Walking to a pharmacy. Why? We've been sick for like a week. Yeah. We're out in NyQuil. Hashtag not coronavirus. <laughs> but we've both been sick with colds. That just linger. Yeah. So we're going to go grab some medicine. It's a bummer too because we're in this great place and we want to explore. But Yeah. Pueblo's been really cool uh, so far. I mean hot mm -hmm. temperature wise, but cool isn't interesting. We did get to go out last night for dinner to yep. a jazz bar. That was really cool. Yeah, jazz bar was fun. I am glad we got to do that, but mm -hmm. it just kind of sucks. Yeah, we need to take Yeah. I have the best husband in the world because he lets me get McDonald's and I don't feel good. It's my guilty pleasure. Pescado doble. Double fish sandwich. <laughs> Judge us all you want. <laughs> and NyQuil. <laughs> Caitlin's finally feeling well enough, so we're going to try and explore Puebla today. Uh, an area which is known for mole, so obviously food, uh, as well as pottery and arts. So it should be a really amazing spot to go explore all the awesome old streets and architecture. Yeah, we're in the historical center right now, so that's where we're kind of starting and branching out. It's a Saturday, and this is now like the third or fourth market that we've walked through. Everything from like pottery to tools over here. If you want just a random, here's a perfume bottle. So it's kind of like yard sale mixed with, oh, there's a bunch of sunglasses. Oh. Howard's still in search of replacing his lost sunglasses. Yeah. So yeah, they have, I mean, pretty much everything in these markets. Books, like antiques. All kinds of stuff. Um, what are you trying to find? Yeah. They told us to look for a place called La Fonda. The, the problem is they're all called La Fonda. I don't know what La Fonda means, but apparently it has something to do with food. Okay, we're trying our best here. So we just ordered uh, a guadita chicken. And the palace, which is cactus. Uh, and then we're going to try a chalupa. And a chalupa is not Taco Bell chalupa. Not what you think of, no. no. She's making it like right behind us. Right over there. This is huge. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm gonna fold it like this. Oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this is enormous. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Very good. 
Now, this is chicken um, with cactus, Oaxaca cheese, and two kinds of salsa. Delicious. If I can do this as gracefully as you did. You made it look easy. It's cold, baby. Oh my god. doing gorditas and chalupas all wrong in the states. <laughs> it is hot today. It's in the 80s. Some music playing. So there are 365 churches here in Puebla. There's one. And <laughs> there's <another>. more. <laughs> so many. We walked into one. And Howard was like, oh yeah, I forgot how many churches there are here. I'm like, yeah, we don't need to go in every single church. We don't need to go to every single church. But we did find a walking tour app uh, that lists off the top 16 things that we should see as an introduction to Puebla. So we're going to hit them now. First stop, San Miguel, the patron saint of Puebla. And they even made a fountain for him in 1777. Remember back to high school Spanish? The only word you can probably remember is library, biblioteca. So in the States, you go to a library and you borrow a book. You take it home, you read it, and then you return it, right? Well, here it has always been against the law to remove a book from the building. And if you did, you were actually excommunicated. I think it's really interesting. It's beautiful. The Baroque architecture is magnificent. There are over 45,000 volumes here and 3,000 unbound documents. And not one of them has ever been checked out of the library. No. Very, very interesting. It was founded in 1646 with the donation of 5,000 books. So they've grown a bit over time. Really cool. came out of the convent of Santo Domingo. Off to the side of it is a chapel, the Chapel de Rosario, which is one of the most ornate things I think I've ever seen. It's gold everywhere, on the ceilings, on the walls, beautiful paintings on the sides. It is definitely a summer there. It's one of those things that when you walk around the corner, you like audibly gasp because it's that beautiful. This is one of the most famous churches here in Puebla. We are going on a Ferris wheel. It's the tallest one in Latin America. What did I just tell you? That you don't like Ferris wheels. So why are we doing this? Because I want to see the city and the volcano. Yeah, the volcano. It has been a weird week, to say the least. Yeah, that's a way of putting it. Um, well, the U.S., I mean, is approaching total lockdown uh, due to coronavirus. We're filming this today on it's March 16th. 16th. Yeah. yeah. And Mexico has not really had any of those issues. The closest thing that we've had was yesterday when we were at Costco, and people are starting to go a little crazy about toilet paper. Which is the weirdest thing. We saw it in the States, you know, watching from afar. You all have seen it. I just, I don't understand it, but that's the thing people want right now. We spent a lot of the week working. Um, mm -hmm. We didn't really get to explore as much as we wanted to, which is fine. Puebla wasn't my favorite city. I'm glad we came. This campground has been awesome. This is one of my favorite ones that we've stayed at. 
They've been so friendly. The showers are really clean, really hot water. This is Trailer Park Las Americas, very close to um, Cholula, downtown Cholula, which is like a suburb of Puebla. Puebla's about 20, 25 minutes away mm -hmm. from where we stayed. There's 24 hour security. The guard's really nice. They have friendly dogs, so it's been a great spot to to hunker down for the week. Yeah. Uh, but now we are all hooked up and getting ready to go. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're heading towards the Yucatan now. Some beach time. And beach you know, time. if things start to get crazy here in Mexico, at least we'll be at the beach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so beach never closes. Nope. All right, well, we're hooked up. Ready to go. You gonna get a show with me? Oh. These are our first. What is this again? To move <laughs> There's a whole street here of nothing but sweets. And we just bought chocolate from a drugstore. It was two for one. 